How to save your viewport is just go to right click here next to perspective and go to set view and go to named view and then you will see another Rhino window and then here click the save as button and then just name it I called it exterior view then actually it save your camera point and then if you change it let's say you change your camera angle just save it again and this one is exterior view 2 and let's say you move around it and whenever you just double click it it just go to that point so this is how you save your camera view what else okay and then uh, you want to make sure that your viewport and your rendering kind of should match together how to do that is open V-Ray and actually if you go to output here output section click the get view aspect what this get view aspect is actually match your rendering window with your viewport window and then I would kind of like so whatever you see here now from now on is exactly what you will see in your rendering window so if I render it look like this so now this one is almost exactly same proportion you do you see from your viewport like it and then you may want to sometimes render a very a kind of very wide view and then you may want to something like this or maybe highly vertical view something like this then actually also click get view aspect you see that this one has changed but now this one is 81283 uh, press this L button this one will lock the ratio and then you may want to high resolution rendering and change your number here which is 8000 to 12,809 high resolution but now I don't want that but this is how you get same ratio but high uh, resolution rendering if I run it yes you see that kind of vertical window almost as exactly as your uh, viewport